Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas McGee and in this video I'm going to share with you a totally free markdown editor for WordPress. Okay, so in a previous video, I talked a little bit about the brand new editor, the block-based editor that's been worked into WordPress 5.0 and some of the reasons why I'm not too excited about it. If you'd like to catch that video, if you haven't already, click the link that should appear above me currently. Um, but yeah, check out that video if you wanna find a little bit more information as to why I'm keeping the classic editor. But in this video, what I wanted to talk to you about was an editor that replaces the classic version for a markdown version of the editor. So first of all, I'll address very briefly what markdown is. In essence, markdown just makes it extremely quick and easy to write inline styling. You don't have to go in and take your hands off the keyboard when you're writing in markdown. You can just do dashes for bullet points. You can do stars around characters for uh, italicizing and bolding things. So it enables you to add formatting to your writing as you're writing it. At the end of the day, what it produces for you is in a very efficient way to write. So uh, another video that I created a while back talked about an app called Bear, and it's a markdown editor in and of itself. Again, I'll leave a link below on for that video if you'd like to check that one out. Um, but today I wanted to show you how to install an editor into your WordPress website itself that replaces the classic editor and enables you to write directly in WordPress with Markdown. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so what we're looking at here is a nice blank install of WordPress. So this is what we're gonna look, this is what we're gonna see when we first get started with a WordPress website. And so what we're gonna wanna do first in order to get started is head on over to plugins. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and head on to posts. And let's take a look at the editor as it is right now in WordPress. I think it's at the time I'm, I'm recording this video, I think it's at WordPress 5.0.2 or something like that. Anyways, to suffi suffice to say, it's got this new block based editor. And so I'm not going to kind of go into the same points I went into, into the uh, keeping the classic editor. Uh, we're just going to, at this point, kind of assume that's what you want to do. So for, first thing we're going to want to do is head on over to plugins, click add new. And then if you have not already, you're going to want to make sure that you install the classic editor that's going to be required as kind of a pre prerequisite uh, in terms of getting uh, started with the markdown version. So we'll click activate, head back over to posts, and then we'll be able to see over here that uh, we now have the old or the classic editor back installed again. Okay, so now we're going to head back over to plugins and click add new, and we're just going to type, type in markdown. We're gonna see the Markdown editor will appear here. So we're just gonna click Install Now. And then we're going to click Activate. Okay, so now we're gonna head back over to our posts. And we're gonna see that we have this all new editor installed. Now, before I go any further, something that's important to keep in mind is that when you are going from the block editor backwards to the classic editor, sometimes there might be some quirky uh, formatting things that take place and this Markdown editor is completely the same. So it's the exact same issue. You wanna make sure that if you're gonna use the uh, classic editor, make sure you roll back to that classic editor and don't start working in the block editor or the Gutenberg editor. Make sure you stay, you go back to that classic editor as soon as you can to make sure that there aren't any conflicts as you are using that older version. And as always, make sure that you always back up your site prior to making any major changes. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what this is. So I'm not gonna go into all the details of the syntax of how to format in Markdown. We'll touch on a few things, but here's kind of how it would work. So I'd say, okay, here is a great new article I'm writing. Here are some bullets. So as you can see, it just makes editing. What's really neat about uh, Markdown in general is that you never really have to take your hands off the keyboard, right? You can just kind of write 
and add formatting really f uh, in a great workflow that enables you to write a lot more efficiently and effectively. Um, so you can just keep on going. You could say, um, So as you can see, you, it just makes writing so much quicker. And since this is kind of natively set up to work within Markdown, you can see it's already kind of turning those into bullets for me. It's already uh, at kind of formatting these as headings. And the greatest thing about this is that it's all worked natively into WordPress. So what you can do is you can actually click this button right here and you can turn this into a super clean, streamlined writing experience. So if you're a writer, if you're a blogger, if writing is very heavily how you use WordPress, this editor can save you a ton of time because you don't have to even worry or bother with a third party app that you didn't paste into WordPress. You can just do all your writing right here in WordPress. Another thing that they have worked in here is this side by side comparison. So if you ever wanna see the things that you are writing and kind of how they're gonna format, you can click that button right there. Uh, you can also click up here as well. So if you wanted to actually do some of your editing with the toolbar, you still can do that. You're not limited there. And as you can see, it's just the classic markdown editing. And then if I were to click the link up here, you'll see that it adds that formatting for me. So really useful tool in terms of like, if you wanted to add a link in here, you could just click this and then add the link, or you can use, this is uh, markdown's classic formatting for doing a link. Uh, as well. So it's just a really clean, easy to use writing experience. You see here, I can just click the update button. It's going to save all of this editing for me. If I go over to view the post, you see it's going to appear with all of those various formatting things applied. And I was able to do that really efficiently. So hopefully that you find this useful. This is something that I think, especially if you're somebody who's going to be writing a lot, who does a, like really long form articles or who uses this as like a daily blog or something, and you don't have to mess with the third party software to do your writing. Uh, this Markdown editor can save you a ton of time. Okay, so hopefully you found that useful. I just wanted to share that quick tip with you. I know I found it really useful. It's something that I'm starting to install on a lot of the WordPress websites that I'm using. And stay tuned for more tips. We're gonna be sharing a lot more WordPress and productivity tips of a wide variety to help you better build your brand on the web. So until next time, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.